Welcome to my video on simplifying expressions. Um, we're going to go through these four examples together and I want you to write down everything that I do on the board on your paper. Feel free to pause and rewind anytime you need to stop because I'm going too quickly or rewind in case you want to listen to something again. Um, we're going to use this as a kind of a guided notes video where um, I'm going to explain as I go through and do the problems. You'll do them together on your paper and then you'll have it to look back at as you go on to the next practice and work independently. So first thing we're going to do is read our directions to simplify each expression. So we're going to take the, this expression and I'm going to try to simplify it as much as I can. So I want to think about um, the order of operations, which we remember is PEMDAS. When I'm simplifying an expression, I need to think about any of these operations that can happen to kind of condense it down a little bit. If I look first thing on PEMDAS is parentheses. I have a set of parentheses here that I want to get rid of. I need to do that by what's called the distribution property. So the first thing I'm going to need to do is distribute my six. And so what that means, I'm going to write that down here, distribute the six. What that means is the six is going to get multiplied by everything that's in the parentheses. So if I do six times n, I'm going to get six n. If I do six times negative one, I'm going to get negative six, so I'm going to put a subtract six. And then I have a plus three on the end, so I'm going to bring that down. The distribution gets rid of our parentheses, so that helps us with our PEMDAS. I don't have any exponents to do. There isn't any more multiplication or division because the multiplication was done with our parentheses. So now I'm looking at addition and subtraction. Are there any terms that I have that I can combine together? So the second thing I'm going to look for is combining like terms. So what that means is, do I have any terms that look the same in a few aspects? Do they have the same variable? Do they have the same exponent? So first term I have is 6n. Are there any other terms that have an n? No, they're all just numbers. So 6n doesn't have any terms to combine it with. I'm just going to bring it down. But when I look at the last two terms, I have a negative 6 plus 3. Those are just numbers. They don't have a variable at all. I'm going to put them together by doing whatever operation I see left to right. So negative 6 plus 3 means I'm going to add the two together. Negative 6, add 3 is going to be negative 3, so I'm just going to put a minus 3 here. I have distributed to get rid of my parentheses. I've combined my like terms here. And this is my final answer for my expression in simplest form. All of my like terms are combined and my parentheses are gone because I used distribution. So let's do the same thing in the following examples. A few of them are a little bit different. They get a little trickier as we go, so stay with me till the end. Again, looking at number two, I have parentheses that I want to get rid of, so I need to do that distribution property again. So I'm going to distribute my negative seven. This time it's a negative number I'm distributing, so I have to be careful when I get negative numbers. I'm going to distribute negative seven times n. It's going to be negative seven n. I'm going to then do negative seven times negative one. I need to remember that a negative times a negative is a positive, so it's going to give me positive seven when I do negative seven times, pos times negative one. Negative times negative is positive, and seven times one is seven. And then I'm gonna just bring down this plus 28 at the end. I'm gonna look through to see if I have any like terms that I wanna combine. I have, again, two numbers at the end. So I'm gonna just bring down this negative seven n, because I have nothing to combine with. Then seven plus 28 is gonna be 35. It's a positive 35, so I put plus 35. That is my final answer for my simplified expression. I'm gonna put a box around it. It's always good to do that. You can find your final answer in your work. Just circle it at the end or put a box around it. As we move on to number three, you can try to do this one on your own if you'd like to pause the video and then come back and join us when you get stuck or when you're done to see if you did it correctly. So this time I have a negative five out front like I did last time a negative number, but now I've got a number on the inside on that n. So I've got to do negative five times eight n. So I need to multiply those two numbers, negative five, times eight is negative 40, and then I have an n, so it's gonna be negative 40 n. Then I'm gonna do negative five times negative three. 
Negative times a negative is a positive. Five times three is 15, so plus 15. And then I have a plus two. So I've distributed to get rid of my parentheses. Now I'm gonna combine these like terms. I'm gonna bring down this negative 40n in the same way that I just brought down this plus two. Positive 15 plus two is 17. Positive 17, so I get a plus 17. I'm gonna box that over. Negative 40n plus 17 is our final answer for that one. We've got one more to do. This last one would be a good one for you to pause the video now and try to get started. Um, if you can make it all the way through, check back with us, but it's a really good idea to pause it to give yourself an, a moment to see if you can take everything we've learned and apply it to that problem. So go ahead and pause the video and then join us in a second. All right, number four, we're going to distribute negative five through the parentheses. So I've got negative five times four x, so that's gonna be negative 20 x. Then I've got negative five times negative five, which is gonna be a positive 25. Then I gotta bring down this negative seven. And I'm gonna combine my like terms, 25 minus seven. Before that, I'm gonna bring this negative 20 x down. Positive 25 minus seven is gonna be 18, a positive 18, so plus 18. So our final answer is negative 20 x plus 18. Feel free to go ahead and rewind and watch anything over again that you need to to help you understand. Ask me any questions in person, in class, if anything didn't make sense, if you were stuck as to why we did any particular step. And if you're all set, let me know and I can give you the next practice where you can work on independently. Thank you for watching.